Welcome to Oilfield Inside TV. Today's topic is coil tubing in the oil and gas industry. In the oil and gas industry, coil tubing refers to a long metal pipe, normally 1 to 3.25 inches, 25 to 83 mm diameter, which is supplied spooled on a large reel. It is used for the interventions in oil and gas wells and sometimes mass production tubing in depleting gas wells. Coil tubing is often used to carry out operations similar to wireline. The main benefits over wireline are the ability to pump chemicals through the coil and the ability to push it into the hole rather than relying on gravity. Pumping can be fairly self-contained, almost a closed system since the tube is continuous instead of jointed pipes. For offshore operations, the footprint for a coil tubing operation is generally larger than the wireline spread, which can limit the number of installations where coil tubing can be performed and make the operation more costly. A coil tubing operation is normally performed through the drilling derrick on the oil platform, which is used to support the surface equipment. Also, on platforms with no drilling facilities, a self-supporting tower can be used instead. All coil tubing operations on subsea wells are mobile offshore drilling unit MODU, example semi-submersible drill ship, etc., has to be utilized to support the all the surface equipment. Personal various wireline can be carried out from a smaller unit. Oil tubing has also been used as a budget version of work operations. It is used to perform open hole drilling and milling operations. Common coil tubing steels have a yield strength ranging from 25,000 psi to 1,20,000 psi. So it can be used to fracture the reservoir, a process where fluid is pressurized to thousands of psi on a specific point in a well to break the rock apart and allow flow of product. Coil tubing can perform almost any operation for oil operations if used correctly. Coil tubing uses circulation. The most typical use for coil tubing is circulation or deliquefication. A hydrostatic head, a column of fluid in the well bore, may be inhibiting flow of formation fluid because of its weight. The well is said to have been killed. The safest, though not the cheapest solution would be to attempt to circulate out the fluid using a gas, frequently nitrogen, often called a nitrogen kick, by running coil to be into the bottom of the hole and pumping in the gas, the kill fluid can be forced out to production. Circulating can also be used to clean out light debris which may have accumulated in the hole. Coil tubing communicants can convey hydraulic serve.